but it's good to be any age, right? Santa Comedy is for everybody at Santa yeah. University. We have had uh, graduating students as young as 13. We've had students graduate in their 80s. Uh, comedy is for everybody, doesn't matter who you are. Uh, that's why we're so welcoming. And our next guy is we will welcome him coming on stage, doing the stand-up comedy thing. There he is. He's sitting, sitting right there. A big hand, ladies and gentlemen, for Stephen Wilde. marriage for 44 years and fortunately my wife passed away and I sold my house and moved to a retirement uh, community and uh, the people that have nothing to do they just sit around and make up these stupid rules and regulations but last week they put a big sign at the pool no diapers allowed no residents only Mr. Softy Man comes down the street, plays his jingle, doesn't stop, just keeps on going. Comes back an hour later, and that's just about when the people are reaching the curb. <laughs> and I feel sorry for the Mr. Softy Man, because the rest of them don't remember why they came out. You know, I'm retired, I need a little extra money, so I started a little side business. I sell used tennis balls for the back legs of walkers. <laughs> business is pretty good, but I'm having a hard time finding enough tennis balls. So now, they're accusing me of screwing up their stupid tennis tournament. <laughs> so the other day, I, uh, standing at the corner talking to some of my neighbors. And I said, hey, did you see that car go by? That's one of those new driverless cars. There's no one in there. Just as I said that, the car veers off the road, crashes into bushes. So we went over there to see what's doing. The driver's door opens and it's my little 86-year-old neighbor guy. <laughs> So in the winter, I go to Florida, too cold here. So uh, a friend of mine called me and said, he's invited to go to an orgy, do I want to go? I said, an orgy? I never went to an orgy, but I'm single, okay. So we get to the, to the door and there's a sign that says, leave walkers outside. So I'm really, uh, want to buckle down and meet a nice woman and uh, share my life with and, um, um, have fun. So I figured the best way to do that is to go online daily. And this has been some experience, let me tell you. <laughs> I took out this one woman for dinner. And we're having dinner and I told her a joke. She's laughing. All of a sudden I see a little hearing aid drop out of the way. Into a salad. A salad. So I didn't want to embarrass her or anything. You know, make her feel bad. Then I see it on her fork. So I tried to warn her, but she couldn't hear me. So, uh, you know, on the internet, they have great pictures. These women look great. But um, when you actually meet them, they are a lot older than my pictures. So I came up with an idea. When I talked to someone on the internet and I would want to take them out, I said, before I take you out, you sound great, but if I want to take you out, could you do me a favor and send me a picture of you holding the newspaper? <laughs> so last week, I got a response. The picture looked great. I zoomed in on it, on the newspaper, and the headline said, Allies Invade Normandy. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, about a week and a half ago, I took out a woman, 
and she was nothing great. The next morning, I'm at the deli counter at the supermarket. There she is. She goes, oh, I had a great time last night. I hope you did too. She says, are you going to call me again? I said, no, I don't think so. She says, why? I said, because a lot of things you put on your profile were not true. You lied. She goes, I'm 67. I said, calm down, calm down. Okay, I'll take you out again. So I'm not talking to you. I was answering the deli guy. Then I took another woman out, I pick her up at her house, she lives in one of these developments. The first speed bump we went over, a teeth fell out. <laughs> Is that bad that I was aroused? <laughs> I don't know if I'm, if I'm starting to lose it, or getting stupid, or just unlucky, but lately, a lot of shitty things happen to me. Like, I took a woman out to dinner and dancing. And I got on the dance floor and I said, holy crap, I don't understand this. I'm a good dancer. I'm tripping over my own feet. She said, why don't you snip the nylon band on your new shoes? <laughs> so last night, I bought a new adjustable bed. This bed with memory foam and got all the bells and whistles. As soon as I get the bed, my TV goes on the fritz. So I called the TV repairman. He said, what's the problem? He said, the TV's buzzing and the picture's real fuzzy. So he looks at the TV and says, sir, there's nothing wrong with your TV. Next time, take, tear, turn off the bed vibrator. <laughs> so in my um, condo, we have a uh, dinner dance. And they always have a DJ, and the DJ's so loud, you can't even hear yourself think, let alone talk to someone. So I always say something stupid, try to see their reaction, because they can't, they don't know what I'm saying. So I catch the eye of this guy across the table, and I know that he doesn't hear well to begin with. So I said, your daughter, she dresses and looks like a prostitute. <laughs> he says, thank you, she makes $200 an hour. <laughs> and then he says, she does so well, she bought me these new hearing aids. <laughs> so my daughter came over the other night, and she said, Dad, would you make this phone call for me? You know more about the subject than I do. So I said, sure, uh, give me the number. And I'm holding the phone in my left hand, and I, I go, I dial it, I say, it's not ringing, it's not ringing. Still not ringing. She goes, Dad, it's not going to ring. You just dialed it on the calculator. <laughs> so, um, this last Saturday night, I went to a wedding. And uh, it, was, it was great. I come out, and the valet brought me to the car. And uh, it was about, went about three miles, and I realized, oh shit, I don't drive stick. <laughs> And last night, just last night, I took a woman out, and we're having dinner, and she says, Ah, oh, damn it, I lost my contact lens. I said, check the salad. <laughs> oh, crap. It's almost 9 o'clock, and my condo closes 9.30. I've got to go back to my room. Okay. <laughs> Thank you.